Amid bursts of confetti and cheers from his supporters, Gustavo Petro vowed real change. The former guerrilla group member is set to be Colombia's first left-wing president after a narrow win in Sunday's election. We must first overcome pre-modernity in Colombia, feudalism in Colombia, and the new slavery. A senator and former Bogota mayor, Petro is proposing ambitious social, tax, health and agricultural reforms, including free university education and phasing out crude oil exploration. Without a majority in Congress, though, he'll have a tough time delivering on his promises. The 62-year-old will take over from the unpopular conservative Ivan Duque, whose government was rocked by mass protests against increased taxes, inequality and corruption. On Sunday night, voters in the capital expressed high hopes for the next president. I feel happy. This is a victory we've been hoping for for more than 40 years. Today, the youth, the women, the ethnic communities, the indigenous people, the Afro women and men will come to the government and will come to govern for the whole country. In another historic victory, Francia Marquez will become Colombia's first black woman vice president. An environmental activist, her opposition to illegal mining led to threats and a grenade attack in 2019.